For those of you that got the water and accepted the water, imagine if it was just that easy to get water. But for approximately 750 million people, getting water is a huge issue. Luckily, there is a charity out there that is doing something to help this problem, Charity Water. Charity Water will use your time and donations wisely, unlike many other charities. The water that I just gave you, for those, to, for those of you that took some, is clean and safe. However, water in underdeveloped countries is not this easy to obtain. I have a friend, Joe, and he grew up in Ethiopia and has now been in the States for 20 years. When Joe was living in Ethiopia, he had to walk up to three hours to get water and get to the nearest water source. Unfortunately, when he got there, the water was filled with all kinds of bacteria, which could have been deadly. Twenty years later, the water there has not changed. As we all know, water is essential to survival. We drink it to stay hydrated, to clean our bodies, and to stay active. So what happens when the water is full of bacteria and other diseases? What is wrong with the water, and what is it doing to the people? There are many diseases in the contaminated water, which can have a fatal impact. There's E. coli, which is a life-threatening kidney failure, um, said by the Mayo Clinic. Basically, it doesn't filter out the kidneys like it should when you're hydrated and have the water that you need. There's hepatitis A, which is a liver infection caused by a virus. Sanitation and hygiene is key to a healthy life. So the fact that these people don't have it <coughs> Um, means that they are not as healthy as they can be. Diarrhea is the second leading cause of, ch of child death in the world today, and the top cause by child mortality in sub-Saharan -sub Africa. This diarrhea is caused by sanitation, hygiene, and or dirty drinking water as seen in this picture. And the little boy is very high chance that he's laying in manure. Um, this diarrhea is caused by sanitation, hygiene, and poor drinking water, as said by DoSomething.org. Five-year-olds, like this in this picture and under, are the ones most affected and by not having clean water because their bodies need the key nutrients to, uh, they need to grow. If they don't, it can result in death. 90% of the 30,000 deaths that occur every week from unsafe drinking water, unsafe drinking water and unhygienic living conditions are in children under five years old. Kids that are healthy enough that can walk to get the water, like I said, walk up to three miles to the nearest water supply and carry up to six pounds of water back to their home or where they're living. This is why Charity Water wants to help and get a clean well to near their um, community so they don't have to walk so far. Walking all that way puts them in danger of getting sexually assaulted by walking through dangerous areas. Children and their mothers walk to get the water together so the kids can't go to school and get an education like we get one. Also, since the mother goes, they don't have a job, so she doesn't have an income to help out the family more. Luckily, like I said, this amazing charity is looking out for those kids and their families. They're also looking out for those who donate. Charity Water is the most beneficial and effective charity for helping underdeveloped countries get clean water. How they use their money? <coughs> Donations are all funded directly to the cause, unlike many other charities that um, a portion of them goes to expensive um, advertising or the employee salaries. Um, like a United Way only, I believe it's $82 actually go to the cause rather than going to the, all the money, rather going to the families. Um, so you may be wondering how the employees at Charity Water get their salary. Well, they rely on private donors to support the, to support the employees. Also, one thing that's really nice about Charity Water is that on their website, you they have all their financials. They're not like shady about showing it. And as you, as you can see, it's become a very inclined um, charity. And they have all their annual reports, salary surveys from the year 2007. Um, um, they also use social media to get their word across rather than, like I said, using the expensive um, ways to get their point across, like how you see United Way has all those posters everywhere. Um, they use free advertising. Um, they also, on the internet, have stories, and they've been in uh, many articles, like they've been in People Magazine. Um, they've had um, people tell their story that have helped with this charity. And they, like, also on the website, they have stories and photographs of people who are helping them. Um, for their product, or excuse me, for their projects, they use local contractors, which um, the people in, let's say, Ethiopia, they teach men there to how to work the wells. 
um, so that if there's anything that's wrong with it, they know how to fix it. They don't have to come and uh, like fix it and spend money to get out there and help them, so they know how to fix it. Charity Water is a nonprofit organization that the past year in 2013 collected 36 million dollars. It's very easy to donate to Charity Water. They also have this really cool program since we're all college kids we don't really have a lot of money. They have a birthday thing, like my birthday is May 16th which is coming up. So what I want to do is I want to make a, I start a campaign. And so rather than people donate or give you money or give you gifts, you, they, you can have them donate to this charity on your behalf for your birthday. That's actually how I heard of this. The charity was through my friend Joe, who I mentioned earlier. He's made one on Facebook, and what, again, which is also free advertising. When you make a donation, there is a GPS system that so you can see where exactly your money goes and what project it helps. Um, and they also send you a letter or emails or pictures on the progress as well. So you might be asking what's in it for you guys. Well, they do send you a thank you letter and they keep you, if you would choose to, you can see where your money goes. We donated for Joe's thing and we've gotten emails and pictures about where um, the water is and how it's helped people out there. So next time you grab a bottle of water, think about how lucky you are to have that clean water and not have to walk miles and miles to get it. Think about how safe the water is that we drink, but also think about how there is a charity out there that is doing something so people don't have to suffer anymore. I suggest you consider joining the fight and help bring water to places that need it most. Thank you.